Hey guys, this is John from John Will Games, and we are back for part two of Little Nightmares walkthrough. And if you guys remember, we ended off last time being chased by that long arm, creepy, thin guy. And uh, we're pretty much playing as six, which we're kind of wake up uh, on this big, like, submarine sort of thing. Well, at least I'm thinking it's a submarine. And uh, pretty much trying to find our way out, and we get captured by this really creepy long arm dude. And we're trying to run and escape and get away from him right now, so we will get back into her and just resume where we were last time. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part. This is one of my favorite indie games the last couple of years, so it's really nice going back. Playing through it from start to finish, as well as the DLC I'll be doing on my gameplay walkthrough here. And the Little Nightmares 2 demo I did was a lot of fun. Like, they really brought it up a notch, used different objects in the environment to, you know, to use to your advantage. The graphics got a bump up, and it looks like you're getting a second AI character um, throughout the whole story in the second one, which is really neat, so. I'm still not sure what these little gnome creatures are doing. They're kind of, I found a few, I've hugged a couple. I'm still not sure if they're being used to my advantage. Are they going to help brother out, or are they just kind of running around and hiding from me right now? So I'm not 100% sure right now. Okay, is this letting me pull this door open, or is this a no-can-do? Yeah, it looks like we might have to climb up here. If you guys remember, I did just run away from big long arm creepy guy I have really no idea what his name is to be honest I don't think any of them really have names in this game other than the main character here which I called Georgie from it he's pretty much uh, his name's six that's pretty much all we really know holy man climbing up this bookshelf looks pretty scary Ooh, there's our homie see that's the guy we've been running from the whole game or at least this first part We still got to hide from him, eh? We climbed up here. I still got to be super careful. And he hears us really easily. So it looks like there's a prank here that we got to grab. Got to be super stealthy here. And remember, this guy can't see. He pretty much can only hear, so... Our objective is for him not to hear us, and it looks like I'm probably going to have to crawl this. And that makes that a lot easier, eh? Almost heard me there. I'm trying to get this lit so we can get a checkpoint here. trying to clear the way with from crap just so for next time we come back here we're not like running into shit and making noise you know <laughs> I'm okay doing that because that at least gets him distracted Whoa, his arm was going all the way through. That was pretty creepy. Is he going to crawl all the way over here? Oh, yeah, sure he is. I don't know if he heard me there. Okay, there's our crank. I'm going to check out over here really quick because you never know what's going to be over here. Could be one of those little Russian dolls or whatever for a collectible. Could be, I should probably be hiding from him because you never know if he's going to come back in here or not. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much in here. Is he going to come in? Yeah, we 
we gotta run. Hate to say it, I'm taking that checkpoint. And is it still on? He hasn't even turned it off? Oh, I'm surprised we got him like that. I don't know if we're going to get this all the way done. Come on, come back to me. Oh, we did it. Wow. First try. I do not remember going that, being that good last time. There's a lot more trial and error. This is definitely a pretty creepy area. Can I push this or are we going to have to do the handle here? Oh no, I'm going to look like I got to maybe push a, a cart here. Yeah, it looks like I got to push the cart. Something's like some gooey shit dripping into that cart. Am I gonna have the little, um... Yeah, it's sort of pushing itself. I gotta give it a little push-push, though. Ooh, that killed me. Why didn't that kill me before? Like, I've already been past that. Weird. Let's get a little push push here. So what I should do is get a little momentum going here and then jump on the cart maybe. Hopefully it goes across or just... Oh, just fully stops eh? And then I'll just yeah, do this when it does that. Do it right to the end, and then I should be able to climb up this. There we go, buddy. And yay, there we go. Whoa, that was an instant drop. Holy, it wouldn't even let me uh, just drop off there. I just kind of flew in the abyss. I was not expecting that, and they're making me do it all over again. That's kind of rough. There's like a checkpoint there and everything. You think you just... Uh, go right at that door and drop back there. Well, at least we already know how to do it, so I'm really not too worried. Come on, buddy, we're gonna miss this jump if we don't do this properly. Okay, I gotta hold on, not let go and fly off the, into the abyss down there. Ooh, there's a lantern. Gotta get that checkpoint. Hmm. Sometimes those are a little, uh... Whoa! Very creepy. That's what's gonna pull through those. I was like, man, could I just crawl through those? That'd be kinda cool. And then it's that's where the hands come through. Kinda grab ya. Oh, 
how does he know I'm already there? Some of the areas I found on the first playthrough were kind of unfair, like you'd kind of be going and doing something and then he just kind of pops out of nowhere. Is he even going to know where I am? Yep. You pretty much have to run. Alright. Hey, we're learning. Yeah, it's pretty much a running scene from the get-go. Alright, so what's the deal here? I know we can hide here. Looks like he's gonna grab there. I might have to do something to pull that through just so he doesn't... Uh, Just as he grabbed me? Oh, we got him. Oh, that was close. His hands almost grabbed me. Oh, he snapped. He's angry. He is not happy with us. Oh, that got us through that part. Wow, that was intense. See, this game's a lot of trial and error. You pretty much have to keep doing stuff until you figure something out. The only logical thing was pulling that metal that was keeping the thing open down on him. So kind of just had to wait for an opening and I was really lucky that he didn't grab me at the end there. His hands kind of just stopped moving. I was kind of wondering, I was like, oh gosh, we might be dead from the get go. Alright, here's our buddy again. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to climb there, can we? No, that's not something we can latch up to. Oh, it, that's uh, dripping on us, that's for sure. What is over here? Okay. So am I supposed to grab one of these or maybe one of the empty hooks? I guess we'll go check down here. Yeah, this is definitely something like this is going to take me across. Yippers, we're on the road again. Do 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 on the road again. Uh oh. We're going into a new area. Look at that fat guy. Holy. Looks like it's the fat chef for part two. We finally defeated that creepy long arm guy. He was like an hour and change to get through that area. I really like the creepy character. Um, creepy characters you face in each of the main areas of this. Ooh, our buddy's hungry again. Remember the last part? We gotta keep him going with some food and he kinda nibbles on just about anything. We're grabbing like raw meat the last time we had to do that. Wonder if we're gonna trap a rat? Cause that's a rat trap right there. Am I gonna die if I grab this? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Must be something up in this other room here. Oh yeah, it's a rat. It's in a trap. That's what we were doing. And did I nail that, eh? Ooh, our guy's just munching it live action here. Nasty. He's like, I don't care, I need some food. And poor rabbit. Done like dinner after that, I'm thinking. Alright, I want to check the corner here. 
You never know how dark these areas are if there's something I missed. We haven't seen one of those dolls for a while, so I'm imagining I probably missed one, but... I'm almost thinking that last little area by the long arm guy. There might have been something in those bookshelves. I, I tried to look the best I could, though. And this mask kind of reminds me of, like, the Scarecrow mask. And like I said, this is one from the DLCs. And I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit and not be the same. He kind of has a full raincoat if you just play as him as you gen generally would through the main game, so... Oh, look, looking like this is something we push. Yep. I kind of always like having this on just because it definitely lights up the room a lot better. A lot of these areas are pretty dark, so it's like you don't want it too dark. Oh, this looks bloody. I'm thinking there's something not so good going on in here. Creepy. Okay, there's nothing really up here. Oh, that's what we need to get over there. And it doesn't look like we can go through that door, so... Let's go push this to where we need to push it. Yeah, better to just push it from the sides. There we go. Sounds like he's cutting away in there. Is there a checkpoint? This looks like the pantry. Is there anything useful in here? Just looks like a lot of food. Doesn't look like any collectibles or anything we need to grab item wise. Oh, here's the hole. So when you creep like this, especially when a bad guy's right there, usually he's got a little heartbeat like rumbling in your controller, which is kind of cool. Makes it pretty intense. Ooh, he might have saw me there. Yeah, I think we might be toast. He saw me like barely get in there. He gonna come back? He just grabbed a something. Oh, there's some more of our buddies. How did he not see that? I'm surprised with like how long of arms he's got. He doesn't just stick an arm down there. How does he think going in there and coming out over there would work? Oh man, this isn't going too well. Go oh, buddy, go. Nope, nothing like dinner. Looking like we had to climb up there. You can see a torch or a lantern there. And then we probably got to crawl up top. Because it looks like we need a key. And the key's hanging somewhere in the kitchen, I'm pretty sure. Looks like we got to do that part over again. That's okay. See, like I said, it's all a uh, learning experience the first time. Until you kind of figure out what you're really supposed to be doing. Wow, that was a lot easier just going under there to here. We're just cruising. If you can do it stealthily, it's all over. I was just getting too impatient.
And he is breathing hard. I don't know if he can see me or not. Yeah, he's kind of looking up top. I'm not sure if there's something over here I need to be over here for. I think he can still see me up here though. Wait, he's still like having a freak out. He just like forked something? He like died or something? Oh no, dead. Okay, we gotta be more careful on that. At least I got a checkpoint at the corner there. Those those definitely come in handy. See, that's like a minor mistake I really did not want to make, but he was already freaking out. I'm like, I'm going to have to probably do this again. We might have to crawl. I don't want to be too impatient here. I have to do this like four times. I guess we should have just went the long way on the other side of this anyways. And so where are we heading? Oh, we're definitely going up these cages. Looks like we're going to a hatch. Oh, and we are in a random bathroom. Oh, and there is a checkpoint there, I think. You guys see that little uh, shoe with the lantern or the little, um, there we go. Now, I'm not sure if those are, there's a couple different light sources that you can use to save. those are just all checkpoints or are they a certain collectible you gotta do or oh this is somebody too is this the same guy no I can't be This guy can see. Oh wow. It went from him in the kitchen to us going upstairs, him sleeping, and then us going for the key. Holy, that was a fast transition. I was not expecting that to be honest. Okay, well we got our checkpoint, we know what's happening. We need that key off, but what we need to do have enough time to grab that key and run underneath the bed, because that looks like our only really option there. Man, I'm surprised you didn't hear that slam open. How does he not notice that key? I don't know if he's done or not. Is he in the bathroom? See ya, buddy. I'm out. I'm going back down. I'm not waiting for that to happen. Okay, 
Okay, we just got a checkpoint. Oh, oh, he's already back. And he goes fast down the elevator. I don't know how he beat me down here. getting out of here. Wow, that was close. Okay, so this is locked. At least I sure hope it is. The old sausage grinder, that's uh, nasty. Right, so this is probably what makes the sausages. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to put some through it looks like. get a few up there it looks like how do we do that um maybe there's also i pull it again and there's more that are already up there climb into this and see where this takes me first. Okay, well this is what we're supposed to do then. Yeah, there you go. Throw it down into the door so we got a whole another one that'll make us a couple rounds of that. up here. There we go. A lot of it's climbing and bringing down stuff and just kind of really putting your thinking cap on, looks like. Maybe that's probably good. It looks like there's two up here. We already put one in that was already up there. Oh yeah, forgot. go this is how we make it to the next side nailed it Ooh, we're in another cold room I really don't like this big fat food chef guy. He's really creepy. And he actually can see me normally. He doesn't, he's not like a blind like the other character that we were facing with the long arms. Who can I not only can hear you and nothing else. Okay, well we need a key. 
And this looks like the only logical spot that we should be going to. Holy man. All right, well, we got to open that and go hide in the other room, okay? I got you. I got you. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to see me or I was supposed to run. And the only place to hide, which you've probably noticed when we came by it the first time, was right in this box. So what you're doing is you're going to go pull that and you hide. Yeah, you can hide left of this. Yeah, so he can't really see you. That's pretty much the only spot you can go and hide, so that just makes sense. Ping. Run. I'm out. See ya. Oh, a full slide into there. Oh, that's jeez. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now the question is, are we going to wait and wait for him to go downstairs? Or are we going to take his elevator? Take his elevator. See ya. like where is that little bugger I'm hiding you're gonna close on us Is the key right on the table that little bugger okay our best shots actually going behind this and he is really creepy all right you can hide underneath the tables here I know we need that key, but we need him out of there. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's like looking at it, just sniffing it or something. Oh no, come on, buddy. Run! I can't see. Time to chop him. Put him in the grinder. God damn it. And he's a sneaky little bu bugger. We're going to do the same thing, but we just got to be more careful. I'm not sure how long he's going to be chilling there for. You got to crawl a lot, though, in this game, because they can hear any little movement. Seriously, he is really sniffing that. Yeah, I think our best bet is to go to the other side, and we are really going to have to make some noise over here. Get him away from that area. Okay, we can't get that up. I am out of here. See ya. See what we knew what we were doing. We were there for a purpose. Oh. 
Go, 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 go. Get it going. Turn that thing and roll, buddy. Roll. We know he's coming after us. I'm just waiting. Question is, can we push this open? Hmm. I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Okay. I was like, well, I can't get through that door. That little hatch looks like really the only thing I'm allowed opening. I can't grab that plunger. And the only way, maybe crawl the wall? Oh, and I grabbed the wrong way. Here's our way out. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can't get up there, but we can see what's going on. So we can get up here. We're gonna go spy first. Looks like we're gonna tuck underneath that table over there and probably go through. Oh, he's got a bro. That's the second one. This one doesn't open. And yeah, it's done right here is where it cuts off. So that's very interesting. It, we probably have to go through... I'm almost thinking the start's our best option, and then we can kind of go from there. And we can kind of creep from the side and go around them, because I don't think going right in front there, they're probably going to see us, I'm guaranteeing. And the thing I don't get is how do they not know how to peek under and grab somebody? Oh man, that was close. I wasn't even sure if both of them were looking or not. Man, we were lucky with those uh, brush dishes. We good? There. I don't think this door will be easy to open. Oh, it doesn't look like we're grabbing it. I could have pulled up there and he might have not saw me. Holy, they are not getting around here. Now, the thing I'm not sure is if I pull that switch, how am I getting up there? Because it doesn't look like this thing lets me get up there. Like, I cannot climb the boxes. So... Yeah, I think we gotta get out of here and try to come and take that out of here. That'll take us to the next side. Or room, I should say. I 
and they are full tweaking on this. I think I got to make it all the way back to where I was. See now the hooks are going across the top there? That's how we get out, I'm pretty sure. Question ooh, the question is how we get up. Maybe here? Ooh, that was close. Okay, we gotta grab a hook here. And ride her out. See ya. We going home, buddy. I mean, really home. I mean, really home. Oh, and they're still trying to find me? Not today, buddy. Not today. He's not going to pull the thing so I can come back. Not the smartest cookie in the shed. Run! Oh, we are out of here. That was so close. First try to. Boys, we're going home. We ain't come back. Ooh. Man, we sneakily got through those guys. Damn. raining so I'm not sure if this lighter is going to hold up. What is that? I see light coming in. Oh, miss that. That's bright. Uh, okay, maybe that's not what I should have done. Looks like you gotta climb that chain to get to the top. I just kind of, it's such a skinny little platform. I was like, man, what am I really supposed to do here? Looks like you gotta climb this all the way up to the next area. Oh, you can see people coming on the ship. I almost thought this was a submarine for some reason. It's kind of like one of those old, like, Titanic ships or cargo ships or something like that it looks like. Yeah, this is a long crawl to get up to the top, too. Oh, it is a journey and a half. Holy, that's a climb. Little six here, he's putting through the ringer. Ooh, it's more fat people. We have made it to a new area. That was a lot of, like, running and climbing to get up here.
It's a really eerie, creepy game. I really like the platforming, love the creature design. Um, like the use of like the lighter and throwing stuff to hit buttons and distracting the bad guys and stuff like that, you know? It's really cool. I'm really uh, only got, I only think good things of the next one's gonna be great. The demo was like a great 30 minute intro to the game and uh, they definitely amped everything up to 11. So if you guys are in the platformers, horror survivor game or survival games in general, I mean you're gonna really like this. And I really do highly suggest getting the DLC. Um, it's almost as long as just the main game, so I mean definitely get the complete edition if you guys ever get a chance to. And look at there's that girl from the very beginning. Man, look at these people, holy. And you know what, I've probably missed a lot of those mannequin dolls that we are grabbing and throwing. Because they're pretty, pretty sure they're the only really big collectible in the game. And uh, they are worth trophies and achievements if you guys are into that sort of thing. I'm not too worried, but I, you know, if I did see some, I was going to grab them and throw them. I don't really see any here though. We better turn this off. These people might notice me here. They're all just munching, chowing down. This guy's just a chowing down. Holy. Holy crap! Yeah, I was not expecting him to break that whole table and rush after me. So, so far this looks like it's the third area. I'm not even sure what area you'd call this. This is just all the passengers really chowing down. You had the kind of food chef guy. You had the blind guy that... Uh... Whoa, he killed me with his table. Man, these guys are not being nice. What I think I got to do is I got to pull away, come closer to the screen and miss that little wine thing. It almost makes me hit it because I'm thinking you're supposed to get chased here. See, it always hits it. Oh, I'm getting out. I am not staying around for this guy. Oh, man, that was so close right there. Oh, he's still coming, or is he stuck? Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna have to get on this chair, climb up those dishes, jump that, and hang that. This is gonna be a toughie. I might get grabbed here, I'm not sure. That's the only way I see this going, so. Oh man, that was close. She cannot grab me. That's great. Maybe one more swing and I got it. Oh yeah, we got it. I'm gonna be really careful. Just kind of shimmy through all these guys. I'm not sure if they can even see my light down here. Only way I see is right here. What's in here? Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's one of our buddies. Hey, bud. I still have no idea what happens when you hug these guys. That's like my second guy I've hugged through the game. But we got a save point. It doesn't really look like there's much other than him help. You hug that guy and you get the save point. 
and it looks like we're gonna have to climb up on the table that's the only way i see any us getting out of here like i'm not really sure where we're supposed to go okay let's try it this can be a toughie i'm not really sure we might have to maneuver these guys on the table Wow, first try, they really, oh, and that hurt. Now I gotta do it all over again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that. At least we know how to do it. I'm actually surprised I missed that jump. They're all too fat, so they can't really grab you. So as long as you're like out of the way and you sort of go to the side a little bit, See, they couldn't even get me if they wanted to right there. Just make sure you jump right at the end. Yeah, there and grab. Two tries. We That wasn't so bad. Ooh. And more people eating. This is like some sort of a... Uh, what do you call it? Eatery. Big eatery here on the ship. Okay, I'm wondering what happens here. Um, there's no hole. Kind of figured we'd had to climb over here because the other side there's really nothing going on. Third rushing us. I don't trust him. Oh man, that was close. Oh, and the bottle went backwards too. This might just be a rush and get out of here situation again. got me god damn it i wasn't really sure what was gonna happen there like you went to the end and there wasn't anything there so it's almost like you gotta lure them out here get them trapped on this tabletop or this you know counter and then maybe jump over him and get around him yep You're like, not today, buddy. All right, we got him. We got him. Oh, we just crawl right through, eh? Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, and you see a doll there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. He might have just saw me. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to go. toilet paper is he gonna grab me oh he got me damn it i was not sure where i was supposed to hide we're still in the chef guys area i was not sure about that oh shit okay you i gotta be faster i think i'm done from the get-go again here except i could probably hide in the same spot and he might not notice there's not really another spot to hide either. He didn't see me go in there. Now that's what you got to do. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. What, where, what can we do now? You did see that doll thing out there. Is there anything to do with this? Nope. 
Oh, I guess I could have hit over here in the corner too. really sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, let me try one thing. I cannot get to that door. Let's try to smash this. Oh, interesting. Good thing we did that, eh? us up to here so we can get back I was wondering I'm like there's no we're not getting through that door wouldn't let me grab the handle oh he's chopping away at something spot here. Now guys, that is part two walkthrough of Little Nightmares. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll be back for part three in the next video. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your um, comments in the comment section of what you think of the game and uh, do you like platformers are you a horror survival fan and if you're interested in playing the second game as well and uh all right guys i'll see you in the next video thanks a bunch peace